Yo, what is up guys? We're back with another video. Today we're doing a little different. We're just gonna talk about something a you know, frequently asked question that I get a lot, which is uh diet soda or regular soda. Neither are healthy. A lot of people do have different interpretations of what is healthy and what is not. For example, an avocado is considered healthy, but if you're trying to lose weight, it's not a good option because it's a very high calorie dense food. And you're probably not gonna have a good time losing weight if you're eating a lot of avocados. So with that being said, we'll get into today's video, which is diet soda versus regular soda. So, right off the bat, diet soda, the main reason why people say it's not healthy is because of the artificial sweeteners in it. There's actually studies that show that the amount of artificial sweetener that you need in order to actually have negative health effects are so high that no one in this earth is consuming that much artificial sweetener. So, that is out of the window. But, we're going to look at it from two perspectives. One being someone who is overweight and looking to lose weight and someone who is the average person, right? And isn't overweight, isn't underweight, eats whatever they want and doesn't put on weight, doesn't lose weight, right? So first we'll take the obese person or the overweight person, right? Let's say someone is looking to lose weight. Obviously the diet soda is gonna be the way to go because currently being overweight, that person is at risk for a lot of diseases. So if they can go into a calorie deficit by let's say swapping out a regular soda for a diet soda then that person will be much healthier and much better off like i said for that person the diet soda would work a lot better than a regular soda would but once again comparing it to water obviously water is just going to be the best option the other perspective is someone who is just like your average person eats whatever they want doesn't gain weight doesn't lose weight but they're trying to optimize their health say that person if they drink regular soda already and they're just staying the same weight and they want to be healthier the best option would just be to stop drinking any type of soda but definitely don't go to diet soda if you don't if you just don't want that risk but the average person if you're already drinking soda and it's not you're not gaining weight you're not losing weight i would say just keep drinking it if you enjoy it. But if you're looking at a health or healthy perspective and you don't want like the sugar, you want to cut like some sugar down, then you could. But for the most part, I would just say just keep doing you. It's nothing, nothing too serious. All right. So what we can get from this is that someone who is overweight or looking to lose weight should be drinking diet soda rather than regular soda, hundred percent. Like I said, it's gonna put you in a deficit, you're gonna lose weight, you're gonna lower your risk of all these diseases that come with obesity and being overweight. So yeah, and then the other person who is just your average person, if they're already drinking soda, don't switch to diet soda, just keep drinking regular soda. But if you wanna be healthier or just have an overall healthier diet say, cut it out and just drink water but if you enjoy the soda don't cut it out because it's not it's not realistic you want something that's you're going to be able to sustain long term don't cut out things you enjoy even me i know i eat on my diet i eat some things that you probably wouldn't think i eat but i do because i can fit them in i just have a realistic flexible approach to my diet unlike other people who are just too strict and they don't enjoy their food which is really important is enjoying your food so if you enjoy diet soda drink it if you enjoy regular soda, drink it. But being overweight comes with so many negative health effects that you really should just be drinking diet soda or just cutting out any soda completely, just drinking water. So that's that. And I wanted to bring up a study that I actually just found. It's by Fenwick and colleagues. So the abstract, I have it right here. While consumption of soft drink may increase the risk of cardiovascular disease, the relationship between soft drink consumption and diabetes complications is unknown. 
So, you're trying to say that there's a relationship between drinking soft drinks and cardiovascular disease, but then you're saying the relationship is unknown. So, it, it literally contradicts itself. It's basically like you ask a girl if she has a boyfriend, and she says, yeah, we're in a relationship, but I can't explain the relationship. Like, it's complicated. Like, it doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? It's like, there might as well just be no relationship whatsoever. So that's how that goes. But the study, like, itself, how they collected the data, literally, they got 609 participants that already had diabetes, and they filled out a piece of paper saying whether they drank one or less diet sodas a week, one to four diet sodas a week, or four plus diet sodas a week. But if you think about it, someone who has diabetes is obviously not gonna drink regular soda. So the consumption of diet soda is obviously gonna increase if someone has diabetes because they wanna avoid sugar, right? It just goes to show that like these studies, like you actually have to read them because if you just go and look right at the results and you don't like take into account like the participants like how the study was done then like you're not going to get an accurate you're just going to go off the study's results and not look at everything else and it just you just got to use common sense when you look at these studies because these studies aren't really what they say they are so to just bring everything together here diet soda regular soda like i said it depends on your situation so me, I drink diet soda, like, multiple cans a week. Not four plus, I don't know about all that. Um, probably one every other day here and there. Uh, and I'm fairly lean, I'm not overweight. But it's an appetite suppressant for me, just the carbonation. I like the taste of it. So that's the thing, like, if you enjoy it, then don't take it out of your diet because there's no proven negative health effects like longitudinal studies, there's not enough longitudinal studies to show that there's negative health effects to drinking diet soda. So with that being said, just make the decision. It's your decision. I'm not here to tell you to drink it, to not drink it. I would just say if you're drinking it now, don't get rid of it if you enjoy it, right? Like I said before, drink and eat things you enjoy. Do not let some study or some fitness influencers say diet soda is unhealthy or some article about just diet soda versus regular soda you read it and then you say oh diet soda is unhealthy you don't know you don't know the research uh, so yeah like to wrap it up depends on the situation that you're in diet soda or regular soda like I said I would say just drinking diet soda is not as bad as all these people say it is like I said in the beginning of the video, the amount of artificial sweeteners you need on a daily basis in order to actually have like severe effects is so high that you're not you're not using that much. I use a whole bunch of stuff, artificial sweeteners to sweeten up my desserts that I make and everything. And I'm completely fine. I don't have any effects. I don't my stomach doesn't hurt. Um, that is one thing though for some people their stomachs just can't digest it or they they can digest it But it like upsets their stomach a lot if that's the case then obviously don't eat it. So That just about wraps up the video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys disagree if you guys have any questions about this comment below or DM me on Instagram make sure you follow my Instagram let me get your take on diet soda versus regular soda. I hope I could help you guys with this video because I know I do get a lot of questions about diet soda or regular soda. Diet soda is unhealthy. Just here to shed some light. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, feel free to DM me, comment below, anything. Make sure you guys like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, turn on the bell, hit the bell button. Make sure you hit that bell button. Why didn't you cook it yet? Click the bell button, subscribe, comment for the algorithm, and I'll see you guys in the next video.